Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. We're going live here in just a moment. Woo. Since we're about to get started, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna toss up the trailer, and then when the trailer's done, we'll jump right in. Here we go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Rockfish Games stream. I'm your host, Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games. I am joined by Gary, or Geekbyte. Hello. Awesome. We are here to answer questions that you may have through the course of this stream. What are we doing during the course of the stream? You may have wondering. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that sentence properly made sense, but I'm going with it. We're going to be showing you a couple of teasers of what is in development for Everspace 2. But Eric, I thought Everspace 2 was fully released. Why, yes, good sir or ma'am, we have fully released, but we wanted to just make more content to the game anyway. So a lot of content that we are working on right now will be completely free to anybody who owns the game. Now, we are also working on a premium DLC pack going to be have a lot of rich content, going to bring more to the story. Uh, that is being worked on. That will be later. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, we just want to give you more stuff to do, more things to find. And uh, we're going to tease just a little bit more of what that looks like today. Now, <clears throat> in addition to that, I will be going through my general nightmare difficulty playthrough. For those of you who don't know what that means, basically Nightmare is the difficulty you unlock by completing the game, and there's a very small chance that legendary items can drop during it. I'm hopeful that we'll have a legendary drop during the course of the stream, because maybe it might be something new. But uh, the chances, uh, level 14, uh, I'm really hopeful, um, because I have to be, because the chances are not in my favor. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. So let's go ahead and just start things out uh, with one super minor change, which is a title adjustment. 
or a naming convention adjustment, what I am looking at right here is a Baron Enforcer. But this is exactly the same thing of what a Baron Executioner used to be. It just got a name change. That's all. Why do we give it a name change? I have no idea, but maybe we'll find out in the future. Maybe we will find out in the future. So this is the exact same item, just a different name change. So if you see that and you're like, hey, what's the enforcer? It's, it's the executioner. So that's, that's all. Just, it's just a different name. That's all. Okay. Um, but we will be getting into a couple other little details that are, in fact, new through the course of this stream, including but not limited to the ship color randomizer details and new item attributes. I usually call them item modifiers, um, all of those things that can generate down here with the little pips, right? Um, item attributes, item modifiers, whatever you want to call them. They're technically called item attributes. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now, let's go ahead and pick up where we left off, which was literally right here to investigate this ancient secret. And we got to turn all of these, uh, these things on. So let's do that. Right one. I can't even remember. It's Z. All right. All right. All right. We went too far. Now, being on nightmare mode, this uh, scares me a little bit. Okay, that one was right. <laughs> I need to check these before turning them. It's ass. All right. <laughs> And then this one's uh, the wonky one, all right. D, I suppose. Um, I don't think that this battle's gonna be too difficult uh, based on our level and our equipment, because we did change to Umbra, which uh, if you guys n recall, like Umbra does pretty decent energy uh, damage. And this has 30% increased damage against uh, enemies that have a higher level than your own, which I believe uh, this guy is going to have. Oh, he's level 13. Never mind, just kidding. But regardless, the fact that he's one level lower means, hey, maybe this won't be too bad. I just need to stay close to him. And we should probably be okay, I think. I also need to dodge his attacks. That would be important, too. Okay, yeah. This isn't too bad thus far. It won't take much for everything to go poorly. So we just need to stay on top of taking out these crystals before they can blast us. They can do some serious damage. And then we also want to take this out pretty quick too. Oh goodness, I thought there was another one on the ground there. <laughs> All right. Let's try and keep them in his little corner and not get hit by those things. Oh gosh. Alright, next phase, cool, cool. Back in the same one, okay, man, we really locked him into this corner. I'll take it. guys have the bug where when you tried to shoot this thing with like an explosive weapon that the damage just went completely through it sorry about that that bug is fixed by the way <laughs> all kinds of weird bugs every now and then that one really sucks though it's trying to like fire missiles at it I don't know how many of you guys noticed this, but in this final part of the Ancient Worn battle, he actually shoots different uh, tracking ancient energies, which are red instead of orange. That's right. It's more menacing because it's red. Yep, definitely. Neat. 
And for those of you who have not played Everspace 1, this is a direct reference to what happens when you do take out a, uh, a warden. And so, yeah, it can definitely uh, create some issues. Hang on one second. I think Discord is being silly. Discord, I am in streamer mode. You stop that. Okay. You stop it right now. <laughs> Thanks. So if you heard those Discord chimes, I think that was my end. My bad. It's now disabled. Yeah, Everspace 1, uh, Ancients have a uh, much different uh, conclusion. That was fun. Let's head back to Fallon Pango. I think on our way there, we might try and complete another high-risk area. I don't know if I'm that brave yet. No, maybe not. <laughs> Even the distress call is not looking too fun. Goodness. Yeah, no, no, the Discord ping was me. That was my side. There were two of them. No worries. Mm. So how was your guys' week? I hope it was better than mine. I don't know about any of you living in uh, the sort of Midwest territory of the United States, but I was out of power for five days. <laughs> Woo! That was fun. All is well, though. All is well. I'm looking forward to when we start getting some more items dropping in this run. The more items dropping means the more chances of showing you some stuff we've been up to. So let's power through this mission. He's going to say some words. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Do we have... No, we don't really have any sort of... Probably start selling some stuff. We got the blueprint there. Blueprint there. Mm. Oh, why don't we have our level and demand show? Did you guys know you could do this? I feel like some of you guys, like watching some streams out there, you didn't realize. Like, of course, you have this like corner that indicates its sell value, right? Like, if the corner is red, it means it's not going to sell very well for commodities. And for equipment, like, in order to see the level, you actually have to hover over it. You can just hold the T button, this, this right here, right at the bottom. This allows you to add a pip for all the commodities that show you if it's low, medium, or high. And then it also puts the level on top of the item. So if you didn't know that, now you do. It's nice. It can be a little jarring when you have lots and lots of stuff in your inventory. So if you don't like it being on, yeah, you can just turn it back off, but still. Uh, yeah, we, I don't think we need our, uh, enforcer anymore. I'm kind of thinking about selling it too. Yeah, we just want monies. We just want monies. So we are just going to get to it. All right. Next up, we're heading over to Avon Rest. Meeting up with that guy named Maddox. Max, come mm. Ah, yes, we'll get to fight some Okar. Good thing I still have some energy-effective weapons on me, because they, uh, they certainly like to have shields, that's for sure. There's a good chance we're going to be starting to see some of the new item attributes here after this engagement. Yeah, my power came back on Wednesday? Somewhere around there. But yeah, I mean, I was I was doing a lot from my phone, just kind of making sure you guys were okay. Um, and then, yeah, just transitioned over to, okay, now that I have my computer back, let's get everything prepped for the stream. <laughs> it's no big deal. 
maybe an inconvenience, but really wasn't too bad. This is an announcement to all settlement occupants. We are conducting a routine raid. That's Do right, not you are. hinder our access to storage facilities and Is this an auto? No, it's just the lock duration. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I can't do anything else here. We'll just take a quick look at the ship, um, the ship color randomizer, if you will. Um, so last time I kind of showed you it was like right here where you could just like randomize the color, right? Well, we actually went just a, an extra step further. I think this was because I had a quick conversation with Andy and Andy was like, actually, that makes sense. And he's awesome and does wonderful work. But now you can hover over different things to randomize them. So you could get a random decal if you wanted to. You get a random window tint if you wanted to do that. You get random paint jobs if you wanted to do that. So um, yeah, so you can really go a bit more random on the front of this. Um, we feel, actually that's kind of, I kind of like that, honestly. I think we're gonna keep this, this is good. Um, but yeah, we didn't want to do it for the engine colors and emissive lights because those can be a little bit more um, not fun if you're not mixing them up correctly. So those are going to still be something in your control. Wow, let's just let's just take this to the top with orange. We have gone full banana. Well, I'm actually, no, we'd have to go full banana by like, right, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying. All right, but we'll take this. We'll take this. Nice random option. But uh, yeah, just a nice little sort of, hey, I want to shake things up, but I don't want to have to do a lot of time with yeah, just hit the random button a couple times. And if you hit it and you're like, oh no, I liked the one that was before, even though I also like that one. Uh, yeah, you can undo that as well. You can just undo. So yeah, you have lots of ways that you can dive into this and just be a little more playful about it. Like even with the decal, I can add a random decal. What did I get? I don't even, oh yeah, we got GMB defense. So yeah. All those little things. I don't really want to decal on my ship. I like it being um, clean. It'll be good. Yeah. Lit little bits of details like that for you guys. All right. So let's now get back into the gameplay. We'll probably change up our uh, ship today too if we can get just a little more monies, actually. These guys are way more under-leveled than I thought they would be. Not complaining too much, but all right. Yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad at all. Oh my gosh. Probably get this guy out though. Are there Ochre nearby? Are there, are there any? I can't remember. Oh, there's some right there. Okay, all right, all right, chill, I got it. Jeez, goodness gravy. Whew. These guys really are a pain if you're, uh... oh my gosh. Um, yeah, okay, well that just happened. I guess I have um, about as much armor as I do um, that was, that, was, that was just silly. What in the world? Four levels under and that just happened. Woo! Stop! What? What? Oh my gosh! 
shields go down and I just get melted. What? Woo, okay, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, okay. Does the freighter even take damage? Yeah, it should. If it's not, it's just because it's dove build and wonky stuff is happening. But yeah, Maddox can actually die, for sure. Um, let me uh, inspect my ship really quick. I mean, my armor isn't terrible. Hmm. Maybe a ship is made of aluminium. Oh my gosh. Hmm. You know, I wonder if maybe we should just try... We could just we could upgrade the shield. No, that's probably not going to be enough. Let's uh, let's just craft a new shield. Uh, only gets uncommon here. And it'll just be a standard shield, but that might be what we need so it comes back sooner. So let's go ahead and just build one. Take a look at this. Capacity is a little bit higher. The recharge is slower. It does give us more firepower. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and accept that. I think we're going to use this. That way we don't have to be boosting necessarily to get it recharging. I don't think we can do much else with it. No. Well, actually... No, we don't have heat detectors. Never mind. We could add accelerated. Yeah, let's do this for now. Yeah. Let's do this for the moment. We do want to have just a little bit faster recharge speed on that. So it's not uh, quite as good as the recharge speed here, but I think that that's going to give us just enough that we need in order to capture this uh, event. I say the freighter's supposed to take damage, you think, and you say, I think I spotted a bug, you guys. Here, let's see if he takes damage. Yeah, definitely taking damage. Definitely taking damage. Here, let's wait to use our ultimate for when we actually need it. Maybe we used it too soon. This is probably a pretty decent time. So of course they're going to be spawning more guys in. So hopefully we can kind of get our... Wow, that's so many all at once! So hurry up, Maddox. They're all coming after me and I'm hiding. Just, uh, just jump. Whoop. Yeah, I think our shields are in a much better position. Yeah, ironically, I don't think he's actually taking damage from me. So that's uh, definitely a bug. But we will very much accept this bug at this time. Oh my gosh! Alright, shields, come back. Please. Please. I just realized something. My controls are different. I need to fix my inputs. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Normally, I have it to where I can um, use my consumables by holding. Yeah, look at that. That's what I need. Does that mean my... Oh, my gosh. I was playing around with a lot of stuff. And I think I might have accidentally reset everything. So, one second. This is really important. I'll make sure that I have what I need. Yeah, there we go. 
All right. Apply. Yes. Okay, okay. Myox, aren't you ready to jump out? Come on, man. There we go, there we go. All right, all is well. I'm, sk I'm skipping all the videos and stuff. Oh my gosh, all of them. We got captured. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. S so much story. Where what happened? I don't even know. That our little discussion has proven to be a constructive one. Me too, Commissioner Hawk. Every single word will go down in history. I have never forgotten what you've said. Mm. Honestly, I do like the story a lot of what we've cultivated here. It's, it's, it's nice. It brings a lot of things together. The characters uh, seem to have purpose and a meaning, which is nice. But uh, yeah, for gameplay purposes for the streams, we are skipping all of that stuff. So that's the only reason why that's, I'm doing that here. And then ironically, I have to wait for all this discussion to go by. But you know. I feel like that's what every single, like, thief would say. I have no intention of getting caught. Well, of course. Of course you have no intention. <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that you can can still get caught. But, uh, I don't guess. We like the language that's chosen here. It's fun. Alright. So, now we've got, uh... To look for the bootlegger. We get some experience gains. We're almost at level 15. We are almost at the point where superior items can actually start dropping. So superior, for those of you who didn't know, level 15 is where there's like a, I think it's 1% chance in the loot pool. When an item drops, it's, well, there's a 1% chance that it could be a superior item. Uh, yeah, so that's fun. That's neat. We're not quite there yet. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just scrap this. I don't want it. Hey, those fleet techs been tinkering with you? You still yourself? Let's head back over to Union, and um, if we can top off level 15, then I'm I'm pretty confident we can finish our Union Explorer challenge and get uh, the high-risk area. Oh, but I also noticed, let's see, hang on a second. We haven't gotten seed, oh, we do, okay. All right, yeah, so we just needed, yeah, yeah, let's, let's finish this up, that would be nice. over to Union. And guys, remember, any during the course of this entire stream, if you have any questions at all about Aerospace 2, its development, whatever, feel free to ask. Like, we're happy to, you know, chime in on what we can, of course. We're not going to spill all the beans. But as soon as we start cracking into some of these new items and the modifiers uh, or attributes thereof, we can, uh, yeah, we can definitely open those doors for further discussion. At the end of the day, the conversations that we've had internally just like, and I've, I've kind of spoken on this before, but for those of you who kind of missed the discussion, the discourse, we just want to add more stuff into Everspace 2. We got a lot of extended time to polish and to refine and to even add content into the game, some of which that we knew was going to make it and some of which that we didn't, some of which that we found out through you guys and your testing <coughs> that needed to be there. 
And it was great, it was great. But then in the back of our minds, we're all thinking, yeah, but could we also do a little more? And that's ultimately why we're doing this. It's, it's a big thank you to you guys out there, the community for supporting the game, for providing your feedback to, you know, all of that stuff. And then just going, you know what? Yeah, let's just do this. Let's do a little more. Just, just for fun, just as a freebie. to um, just like dissect this location a little bit so we're not just uh, oh actually yeah yeah okay already had that okay all right we'll definitely take that one Carefully navigate this space. I want that valuable shipwreck. And maybe explore that glowing bit too. Maybe that's important. Energy sphere dispenser. Okay, so we have a dispenser here. I don't think we can fit through this. Oh, there's a there's a thing blocking it anyway. Okay. That's right. So many locations, I don't remember them all. Got one pure titanium. Okay, all right. Hoping for more. Let's see, we got a flak or a ooh ooh. Okay, all right. All right, let's see, um, let's do this and actually no, let's do that, this. I'll take it. All right, so that's the socket on the other side, cool. While I am extracting a little bit of uh, goods from this location, uh, Gary, if you wanna go ahead and answer any questions that I have generated. I will indeed buy some of your way, sir. Cool. Right. First up, we have the Slithering Peanut over on YouTube, and he wants to know, they may have missed this previously, but do legendary items only drop in Nightmare difficulty? In outside of Rifts, they are the only location where they can drop. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so Nightmare difficulty allows a small chance for legendary to drop, much more at, like, level 30. Um, <clears throat> but technically we could have a legendary drop even right now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to be the best way to do it. Otherwise, legendaries are found through three specific side missions and also from doing rips. Ship color, chestnut. Excellent. Do we have another question? I've got another three lined up for you. Three. Okay. Uh, funnily enough, you just picked up a color. Yep. And uh, this one is a question from Steiny, no K, uh, over on Twitch. And it's uh, does it's in relation to the color randomizer, uh, does it randomize the colors only or also the finish and the value of the finish? It does not. No, it will not change the type of finish and it will not change the value of the finish. No. We didn't want to go full random we just want to do partial random so it's only changing the colors thereof but then you can kind of tweak it like you get a color combination you're like i kind of like this but what if and you could tweak it a little bit further from there it still saves a tremendous amount of time um especially if you're just like looking to have something different um also i've been hovering over three items that all have uh new modifiers on them actually attributes on them but uh, yeah so uh, same thing with like the uh, the decal. The decal only changes the decal that you have. It doesn't change the colors of the decal itself. So yeah, great question. Great question. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Do we have another one? We do. We've got another two. Uh, first up from XL over on YouTube. Uh, he's just wondering why there are no solar flares in random locations in the inner flare zone of Keone. 
No random solar flares in the inner flare zone. Are you talking about like in super light? Because that was gamification. We intentionally made it to where we didn't want an impact against the player during basically more or less you're, you're traveling, right? Like if you're going from location to location, we didn't want you to have impediments on that. That actually goes back to a design philosophy we uh, discovered at the very start of development. Some of you may even remember in our pre-release build, pre-alpha build, where when you were flying, you could have an interdiction status. And if you were being interdicted, you had to like fly into the circle. It was very much inspired by Elite Dangerous's interpretation of that. But what we discovered is that it sucked. It wasn't fun for what we are trying to accomplish. As a player who wants to go to very intentionally to certain locations, it was important for us to allow the player agency to be king. So nothing should be impeding super light from one location to another. Instead, what we opt to do, instead of saying like, oh, you're being interdicted, now you have to do this thing. No, instead you see this distress call. Do you wanna go do that? It's your choice. You're not forced, but you could maybe go see. You see, you know, an unknown signal. It's your choice. You're not forced. It's, you know, that's the direction we took. And the same thing applies, you know, uh, if we were to go uh, over to, to Keone, right? If you're in the inner flare zone, we absolutely uh, didn't want super light to have that sort of impediment on you. It just was more, it made more sense from the gamified standpoint of you get to where you need to go. If you're going to stop in the inner flare zone, now you're going to start having uh, those issues and whatnot, uh, but that's uh, that's about it. That's about it. So, hopefully, that's answering the question. If it's pertaining to super light, if you're talking more on like inside of the location, it definitely should have constant flares. So yeah, it just question, he did follow up with uh, he did mean at random locations. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It, random location, like um, yeah, just. Within the inner flares, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That would generate in there. Um, yeah, I think that's that more goes into the technical side of things, and I would have to ask maybe Tony about it. I asked somebody on the team about that one. That's a curious question. But... Yep. Good question. Mm -hmm. Good question. Right, we've got one from Exomaths over on Twitch. Um... How do the gunships ult the turret and the sentinels ult the lightning scale? Is their damage dependent on the damage of the primary weapon or is it static? Okay, one more, read that one more time. I want to make sure. Okay, how do the gunships ult Gunship. the turret and the sentinels turret. ult the lightning scale? Okay. Is there a damage dependent on the, sorry, is the damage dependent on the damage of the primary weapon equipped or is it a static? There are static values behind the scenes that are not shown. It is not dependent on the weapon. So whenever you are using the Sentinel's ult, it doesn't take your weapon and then amplify it with the, um, the ultimate. Instead, it removes the weapon and now you're firing your ultimate. Uh, for the gunship, it's very much the same. The turret is its own independent entity. So it has no factors uh, from your primary weapons being used. Um, now that being said, I am rather confident that those values are amplified through anything that is enhancing like your, your main source of damage. So like if we were to go over here for your firepower, for example, this would also apply to your ultimate. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's gonna be, that's going to be how that all comes together. There's not really uh, any other any other factors there. It's the alt does a very specific thing, and then the firepower enhances it. Uh, utility is it utility? Oh, utility. Excuse me. <clears throat> utility. Thank you, Flory. I was even looking at it. I was like, "Where's the alt? Did we forget to mention that? I thought it was a bug. Like we needed to add it back in. No, it's freaking utility." <sighs> It's been a long week, okay? That's my excuse and I'm sick to it. <laughs> so utility will enhance your alt. It's it's even listed there. Gosh, I thought it was... <sighs> All right. Shout out to Flory for uh, correcting me there. I do appreciate that. Do appreciate that. 
Uh, so there you go. Uh, credit goes to Spoon Knight. Okay, all right. Look at this. It's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you all. <laughs> all right. Uh, we had more. One more question, or was that the last one? Uh, I've actually got two that have just come in. Actually. Oh, sweet. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's do it, and oh. I'll uh, and I'll kind of um, like go over items once we're done with that. <laughs> So. Okay, no worries. Uh, Slurry Tetson over on YouTube, just uh, as a little follow-up to the, the uh, inner flare zone. Uh, why the constant flares are not intermittent ones? Uh, I don't know if they're asking whether it's a design choice or... Oh, like it's permanent. Like it's permanently mm. flares going on Firing. instead of like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think that there was a design decision uh, that was made there. I would have to get further information from the team members who made it happen. But uh, yeah, more or less... It was a decision that was made that felt right for the location. Like if you're in the inner flare zone, uh, you should have constant flares uh, going on. So that doesn't quite explain random locations generating there that don't have them, however. So maybe there is a conversation to follow up with there. I think that could be a fun one uh, and see if there is a technical sort of challenge on that front or if it was just more something like thematics you know there's a lot of different factors there um but yeah ultimately I'm, I'm really happy with what we've done for them um i think to add that sort of realism factor is kind of what you're going for like the consistency factor maybe there is something there we could explore a little bit further um, but uh, i think there's other things that we kind of want to poke into and expand before that very specific case so but a great question i, I love how you're poking into that for sure that's uh some good thoughts. So let's do one more question and then we'll keep on cruising. Oh cool. yeah, this last one's from Jesse C over on YouTube. Uh, it's kind of a law question um, regarding the kind of end of the game. Um, was Hive allowed to connect back to the Eterna network or is he still a solo Hive? That is not explained. Being that we are now on fairly good terms with the colonial fleet at the end it could be possible i suppose but i think that that would need to be ha that would need some sort of story to sort of uh rope everything into those elements so uh yeah it's specifically not listed it's left ambiguous another great question cool and that's the last one right it is yes you cool. can fly on all right, so yeah, let's let's go into the item modifiers um, sort of segment here for the stream, because I've been finding a few of them, and I just want to start talking about some of them. So um, as it stands, you know, the item pool, item generation pools. Um, I think that there are some attributes that are more desired than others, just like in general. And something that we want to have, we we want to have some of that, right? Like we want to have some of it, like you feel really good for finding something and then you're also like well the item's still good even though the modifier might not be like there's there's an enjoyment factor there um through looting games as a whole right i mean marco could absolutely speak to this he he does a lot of this um in terms of like balance and support for what we're finding um we also do want to have the side of balanced new item uh, uh, attributes as well so what i mean by that is the item attributes that are generating in uh, the new ones that we're adding we want them to kind of be in that sort of middle ground we don't want them to be like the best new modifier of all time but we also want it to be better um, than some of the other ones that maybe are already in the game so again just kind of like a new opportunity for you as a player to maybe find a, a pathway you didn't before so as a simple example we have the thermal gun here it says going below 30 percent hole fully recharges weapon energy can only occur once every 10 seconds so here you could uh you could be wild in, in a ship that's just cruising for a bruising and maximize your thermogun energy and every 10 seconds it just comes back to you um then you also have so so kind of like a trade-off effect a uh, little bit of daredevil play if you will then we have other ones uh like this auto cannon um, where it has deals 20% bonus damage against turrets. I think we also saw that on a secondary, so um, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But this idea of dealing bonus damage to particular targets and maybe certain factions was also kind of an inclusion to, to cover the ground of maybe finding new opportunities in certain spaces. 
Um, so let's go through a couple more of them. That doesn't have any new ones. Deals 20% bonus damage against capital ships. Capital ships are anything that's much larger than a standard fighter. Um, so that's gonna be like your drone carriers, your destroyers, it's gonna be your um, uh, overseers, uh, in, in, or not overseers, excuse me, inquisitors. Um, it's gonna be, um, you know, those those ships that are much lar like massive, right? Mostly they're bosses inside of like HRAs, Rift, stuff like that. That's gonna be the big damage output there. And then from the shop, we saw a couple more. Um, critical hits have a 40% chance to recharge weapon energy by 2%. I know it's like percents of percents and you're like, wait, what? I, well, basically, if you're firing your secondary weapon and you're getting critical hits, your weapon energy is also gonna come back to you. So you're gonna be able to retain your weapon firing, okay? Um, and these values, um, maybe this is perfect. Maybe it needs to be tweaked a little bit. We are not 100% there yet. So maybe those values will change or maybe they are exactly where they need to be. Uh, a couple other ones to note. So the beam laser actually received a bit of a transformation since the last time uh, we dove in on the conversation pertaining to mining, you'll notice that the item no longer has a trait. What's a trait, you might ask? Well, um, whenever we're talking about a trait, we're talking about something very specific uh, that only that one item has. And of course, I don't have like anything else that has a trait. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but, but basically, like, our, our uh, speed word shield would have had a trait where it's, you always, you only regenerate your shields when boosting. That's a trait. That's an item trait. It's applicable specifically to the speed word, right? So nothing else can have that. Well, the beam laser used to have the trait where you gained 25% uh, bonus to all mining modifiers. But we noticed that kind of sucked for two reasons. One it didn't do a dang thing if you didn't have any mining modifiers so it was completely pointless uh to a degree and the second thing is that it didn't actually add the weight of mining to the laser that we actually wanted it to add it didn't didn't really feel as impactful as what we were going for so instead we have actually adjusted all three of the prior mining um attributes that items can have uh, beam lasers have a chance to roll them, but they don't have any particular traits. And they've also all been kind of increased to help uh, make mining more efficient and effective. So as a very straightforward example, now instead of there being a refund a certain percentage of weapon energy whenever you're mining, no, 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 it's just straight, you refund all the weapon energy when you're mining. So if you're mining with a beam laser, you will not lose any of your energy. You're like low powered mining, you're scooping it all in and then you can turn and fire and you're good to go. Or if there's lots to mine, your beam laser is gonna just keep going. It's gonna keep going. You're not gonna have to slow down and stop and wait for it to recharge or anything like that. Um, it's just gonna be very, very efficient when it comes to mining with that one. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of those other modifiers in the future. We've already seen this one, already seen that one, already seen that one. So yeah, there are still a lot more to go. So that was only just a handful of some of the new item um, attributes that can be visible. And I'm sure we'll see even more as we keep going. So let's uh, keep going. Let's do that. Let's see more. Seeing Tarina again. It's a small universe. Such re-encounters are not so improbable, considering the degree of social engagement you undertake within the confines of the DMZ. Take the mystery out of everything, don't you? Neat. Uh, should we explore here? We're almost level 15. Actually, let's let's do a little bit of ex exploration. Let's take out some dudes. They're level 11, so they will give us XP. Won't be a lot, but it'll be something. Maybe we'll pick up some new items. A real gun? What do we got on it? Just curious, just curious. 2% increased energy recharge rate for each enemy within 500 meters. There's another one. A little unfortunate, it's on the railgun. 
But you know, <laughs> a new modifier, a new attribute. Mm, nothing beats a good old flak for mining. Oh, just you wait for the new mining modifiers. Which will actually make the flak even better at mining. But still, <laughs> you're probably right. There was an intention at one point to make lasers the best. And then we kind of thought, you know what? If people want to be efficient with their time, that's fine. Why are we, why are we hurting them doing that? Maybe that should be something we, uh, pump. Getting real close to level 15. Okay, system recovery routine, power core socket. Good, good, good. For some reason, I thought there were more enemies nearby. Ah, well. I mean, he even flew all the way over there. Look at this punk. Oh my gosh. He's like, oh, you're using your ultimate? I'm going to make sure that you completely waste it before I come back. What a punk. Jeez. Booster? I don't even want to look at it anymore. I'm like so excited to get something new to show you guys. <laughs> it's like what I don't. She's like, ah, ah, this game sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's that general gamer mentality, right? It's like when you don't get what you're looking for, it's the worst game ever. But the moment you do, it's like best game ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got face plating a little bit better, very slightly better. Uh, pulse laser. Critical hits have 40% chance to recharge weapon energy by 2%. We're not going to use it because we got this beautiful set piece here in the Eclipse. Hey, Eric, are more set items in the game that we would be able to see? No, they're not balanced yet, please. Uh, please wait. Please wait. I might be able to show you what they look like uh, after a little bit more tweaking. Uh, maybe at the end of the stream. So. Still in the works. Still in the works. Come on, we are so stinking close to level 15. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking over to chat, Steiny. Oh my gosh. So, so true. This game is bad. I want my refund after 100 plus hours right now. Brrr. Oh goodness. Woo! Man, I feel that. Ah, what can you do? Everyone's got an opinion and they're all important. It's, it's tough sometimes figuring out what's, uh, what to do. Yeah. Alright, let's grab some more loot. Solar panels, scrap metal, none of these things have attributes on them. We will take this battery and slap it in there. Need to find another battery. Oh, hello there. Good thing that we went to all these very clearly marked points of interest. High velocity thermal gun. What we got? What do we got? 20% chance to reflect the shot to enemies closer than 500 meters. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fun? 20% chance to reflect the shot to enemies closer than 500 meters. I actually think that that one um, might supposed to be specifically on shields and armor, but don't worry about that. Like I said, there's going to be a couple of kinks uh, here and there uh, in, in the showcase today, but uh, it's it's all good. Also, uh, pardon me one second while I disable some things going on in the background of my computer that I absolutely don't need pinging my ears. Okay, there we go. <coughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, 20% chance to reflect the shot to enemies closer than 500 meters. Pretty sure that's supposed to be on like a plate or a shield. But I digress. 
new stuff anyway is cool, right? Even if it's not completely where it's supposed to be quite yet. Yay, dove built. Let's see, what was that? That's, oh, it's titanium. We do need... I think we need titanium, don't we? For the... I need to check my perks, actually. Owl paint. We don't need titanium. What? What were we looking for? Power cells. Okay, hang on a second. Power cells. We want to make some power cells. Wait, where are the power cells? Are you basic? They are basic. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Let's just let's craft some. I don't want to wait no longer. We got a lot of iron, athium. This should be fine, right? Okay, now we need super gel. Okay, super gel. All right, cool. Super gel. All right, we need plasma. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Awesome. Oh, we need, we need 20 of them. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of pop. My apologies. Perfect. Now, we did spend a lot of plasma, which we need for uh, some other ones that we also desire. I think for this one. No, it's not for that one. Great. Perfect. So now we get to uh, max this bad boy out, which I'm very happy to do so. Charger beam convenience. Yes. Yes, we have reached it. Oh, so good. Definitely makes me happy. Man, that corrosion seriously ate through our armor. Jeez. All right, we're gonna get this container, then we are going to probably just go through the warp gate. And we'll level up dang near immediately, right? Probably. A single scrap metal in that container. All right. Yeah, let's just go through. Really just one turret? I could have sworn we had like several. All right. Hurry up and level so I can go eat and relieve my biomass. Zero G Scott. I I can't believe that I'm in control of your biomass right now. I that's that is a power that I did not know that I wanted. That's right, suffer. Be in pain and tell I acquire the experience within this video game. I'm your contact for this mission. That's right. Plot twist. You are now under my control. No, no, don't get up. Eric. Sit back down. No, no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> nah, uh mm -mm. Mines are making. Oh, we have that one. Five percent chance to drop credits with each hit. That's kind of. That's it. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's slap that one on. Why not? If only you had a portable device that could be used in a bathroom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Super scrapper, that's, that's beautiful. I got some Bloodstar, let's do it. This should be enough. This will be it right here, ladies and gentlemen. We will be able to relieve our dear pilot in the chat. So close, so close. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come back, come back. No, 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 ouch, pain. Oh, if we die, what happens if we die? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean for, for, for our, oh my gosh. We're gonna die. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take a take a quick bio break. <laughs> <laughs>
Go poop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Woohoo! Too late! Oh, man. Oh, I don't even want to know. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and explore the rest of what we have to offer in this site. Uh, hitting those higher level enemies is going to help us level a bit faster and also get better loot. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Eco Booster! Mm. I really, really like the acceleration gain and the recharge speeds of our recharge booster. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna say sayonara there. Wow, we got three pure insidium in a single strike. That's awesome. It's almost like something was changed in the back end of how that operates when you collect resources. Cool. <clears throat> Drones, explodey drones, all right. All right, all right. Oh, hi, Alec, I haven't seen you in so long. What a pleasant surprise. Cool, some more goods. Nice! Oh, it feels so nice. I'm going the long way around, but I do want to just see if there's anything else uh, to explore here. The little guys over here just hanging out here is going to be random and no random generation for me. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Loop around this chunker. There should be a lost ship somewhere. Did we go all the way down there? I can't. Let's do a quick, quick look. And then we'll uh, start heading on through Zarkov. Yeah, I think I came down here already. Oops. Nope, I didn't. Never mind. Little power cores. I just have to remember where to take them. Which I think is to the other piece of Desbrez, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Just no maybe. Are you here? I am mistaken. Maybe we have to follow the debris that goes upwards, almost like it fell down. All right, well, at least it led to this. Deals 20% bonus damage against outlaws. Ooh. Critical hits have a 40% chance to recharge weapon energy by 2%. Oh man, that, that actually feels like it could be, that feels like it could be really good. And the number of outlaws we've faced, Hmm. Let's go ahead and grab that bad boy. All this insidium. Well, these these darn power cores, I can't actually remember where they go. I'll actually have to look around. But for the time being, I think we're going to just drop a marker. Um, oh, I have to add my marker setup again. Hang on a second. Resetting all my controls. How dare I? Uh, let's see. Um, add marker. Place marker. We need to change this. There we go. Apply, please. Yes. Cool. So just in case those go away, I now have a permanent marker to remind me where they're at. That way I can go and do something else instead of painfully look around for 17 days trying to figure it out. And I tell you what, if it, it took you guys 17 days to figure out like a where stuff is at inside of a location, that's uh, that's pretty brutal. And that should probably be reported to us so that we can fix it because that's not fun. <laughs> that is not fun. All right, here we go. Cloak container. 
feel like there's another cloak container somewhere else here too, but I digress. Fusion course, good, good. All right. Well, we have shown a decent number of new item modifiers thus far. Um, I imagine that there might be a couple of new questions. Uh, Gary, do you have any for me? Uh, I do, yes, I do. Um, I've got one from T3 Cube over on Twitch. Um, will we be able to edit our item attributes so we can get exactly what we want? Uh, adding more attributes is cool and all, but finding that grinding for them might be a bit hard work. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely understand that. And that's also something that we are very well aware of. Uh, a big reason why I kind of started with the disclaimer of saying, hey, what we're adding here is stuff that's going to promote new opportunities instead of, hey, what we're adding is a bunch of stuff from absolutely trash garbage to it's the only thing that you'll ever want on any single item period. Like the purpose of more balanced attributes here is to add healthy variety and opportunity as opposed to unfortunate frustration and that grind. Still more, the grind can be important for late game situations. It can be important for certain players. A big enjoyment factor is finally getting that piece of loot that you've been looking for and being like, yes, I got it, perfect roll. You know, like that's that's a fun moment. That's a, that's a cool thing that can happen. And we, uh, we also recognize that sometimes getting that point can be way longer than what is anticipated. Now, because we are a looter shooter, and we want to add more diversity and player agency, it does mean that there's, we're also looking into the possibility of what it may be of like changing things around on items, but um, it's, a, it's a tricky space to like start a discussion over since there's a lot of factors that are coming into play as to why we would go in that route. So, um, and it might not be what you think. So, Basically what I'm saying is we want to make the game feel good with new opportunities. And that includes more player agency across the board. So we'll see what we end up going for in the future. And also we'll see how everyone responds to the new content, especially once it drops, um, you know, in the fall later this year. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and mosey on to the next location. Let's answer another question. All oh, right. We have one from J.R. Panciotti over on YouTube. Um, just a question regarding sticky turrets. Uh, he's wondering yeah. how long they persist in the game, and is there a limit to how many you can have in the game at once? There is a limit. Um, I believe the limit is four, and they persist indefinitely. Here we go. There's not a lot of enemies around them, but we'll try this. Okay, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ow, that was pain. Need more enemies to come nearby. Wow, we just killed our own shields. Gotta be careful with those shots. Just trying to get out of there. We have to be really careful with this flock because we don't want to take out GMB targets. I suppose we also need to be careful with mines as I just launched one. Oh gosh! Ah! No! <laughs> well, we don't have any, um, any ability to heal. I think we're just going to have to leave GMB to their own devices here, unfortunately. Oh, no, they won! Excellent. Glad to help. Don't mind me, I'm just running away. Cool. All right. 
I'll come in and take the loot. Thanks. Didn't you pack nanobots? Oops. Do we have more questions? <laughs> uh, I've got one lined up from uh, Guest Indeed on Twitch. Um, before release proper, enemy affixes in addition to Elite were an internal discussion point. Have these discussions percolated to implementations? Not quite. Still discussion points. Still kind of churning. We'll see what ends up happening. When we have news on that front to, you know, speak more on what that looks like and what it applies to, we will definitely showcase it then. So, yeah. I like that question. I like that question. So, all right, let's go ahead and clear out some of our inventory, though. Um, I really do feel like we had... For some reason, I felt like we did have... Um, oh my gosh, super gel and power cells? What? Oh, we can craft them, okay. Yeah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine, everything's under control. Did we have another question? Uh, one's just actually come in from Wizard Jerry over okay. on YouTube. Bit of a bit of a law question okay. uh, for later on in the game. Um, since there is no functional jump gate in Kion, how did a Adam actually manage to escape from that system? This seems like spoiler territory. Yeah. <laughs> there is a jump gate in the Kionu system. It's just, uh... Actually, can I just jam this music, please? <laughs> ah, Everspace 1. It's like I, this is like my favorite super light. It's so good. Uh, but yeah. So oh, you're talking about Everspace yeah, yeah. One? Oh, yeah. okay. All right, all right. So you're being cheeky, is what you're being. Well, you know, from a lore standpoint, I think the uh, the importance here is that in most cases he probably didn't. Probably didn't. If you're talking about the locations that you're flying through during the events of Airspace One, um, I'm hard pressed to say any of those locations are actually uh, Kioni. I'm hard pressed to say if any of those locations are actually Kioni. If you're seeing the ice locations, it's probably more akin to something like Drake. Uh, that's just straight better. We're taking it. But Keone is kind of like a dead end inside of the DMZ, and it's it's where ships go to die. Yep. I suppose we should probably heal a little bit, huh? So that we're not, you know... <laughs> You'll be fine. Just don't crash into anything. <laughs> Great. No problem. Well, we are absolutely going to be in combat once we come out of here. So um, I think before that happens, now nah, we should. We'll be. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, maybe just in case we'll uh, save the game. Wait, what? What did you say, Eric? You said that you were just going to save the game and then the game save. Yeah, I said I was just going to save the game. Just to save it. What? What? I don't understand. It's almost like you have a quick save feature. That's interesting. That was recommended from the community, which we didn't really know if was going to be a good idea or not, but turns out it was actually really awesome. So thank you for the recommendation. Wow. Fancy that. Quick saves. Who'd have thunk it? But seriously, guys, you made the recommendation in the, you know, in the, the forums, in the Discord as well. Um, we saw it enough to where we were like, all right, let's 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 inspect this. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe this is the right call. Maybe this will be healthy. And I'll even, I'll even straight up tell you guys, like, at first we were kind of like, ah, this might not be the right fit for what Everspace 2 is trying to be. And then once we got it implemented to the degree that it needs to be, we were like, yeah, okay, this was a good call. 
So thank you everybody for your push, your drive to bring this to fruition, because uh, it is because of you all why you now have the ability to quick save. Well, I, I can't right now because of certain events, but that's, that's funny. That, that timing was pretty good. But anyway, <clears throat> you get the point. You get the point. Now let's see if we can uh, not die. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky. All right, cool, cool. These aren't actually as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Oh gosh, why did I say that out loud? Oh no. Oh, here it goes. Here, here it goes. Here comes my demise. <laughs> Ooh! I just felt like singing, that's all. It's definitely not an emotional response due to any amount of tension. Ah, I forgot the destroyers here. Here's some cover. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh, hmm. yeah. Ow, you, you little punk. Honestly, I'm not even mad. That was a good shot. Whoever's behind that turret. A little poke and shoot. Jeez. Okay. All right. Come on, open up, open up, open up, open up. Die, please! Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just, just use it a little bit of strategy and, and tactics. No big deal. Nothing. Nothing crazy. You get. You get back, you punk. Oh my god. Nobody likes you, mad cats. So this viper could also be painful too. Careful here, all right. Oh no! Why did I? Do oh my gosh! <laughs> the oldest trick in the book. I'm like, oh yeah, no, it's totally a madcap. I just have to kill it, and then just, oh no! How many times have I died to madcaps like that? Oh gosh. It's like I forget every single time I go up against a madcap. Jeez. Oh, the, goodness. The cap it all off. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, man. Mines, I tell you. Mines are my worst enemy. All right. All right. Now, wait a second. I thought we had that repaired. Let's go ahead and start clearing these fools out once again. It honestly wasn't too bad, we just have to, you know, not fly into mines. Imagine that. Let's do it all again. Do we have any more questions? Do we, do we, do we catch up? Yeah, we've got a couple that have blown in the door. Oh, okay. Uh, Actually, yeah, let's, let's, let's sneak them in. Can you manage? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jordan Holland over on YouTube uh, would like to know, will there be any new jobs or are we kind of stuck with the ones that we have? Are there going to be any new jobs, or are we stuck with the ones that we have? Um, as of right now, we're pretty happy with the selection of jobs. Um, so I would say more or less that you're going to be stuck with the ones that you have. But that doesn't mean that we couldn't come up with a couple more. It just means that that's probably not a as you can imagine. What's another question we got? Uh, question from Bearded Frog uh, over on YouTube. Uh, he's just wondering, will the uh, hotkeys that we use for quick save reload, are they going to be rebindable? Yes, they will be rebindable. In fact, let me show you right now. Um, we've gotten this screen a number of times today, but uh, yeah, the quick save and quick load are both buttons that you can bind. Uh, let me see if I can just find them. Uh, yeah, quick save and quick load both implemented so um yeah 
So that way you can just stay out of having to back out and figure out what do I want to save this and it's just, what, do I need a do I need to load like a location save or what's it? No, you just save, load, go on your way like that. Just nice, simple. So there's the most recent save, um, and then there's the save, the quick save, quick load. Uh, so quick distinction here, quick distinction in how this works. So there are some games. It's not all the games, but in general, our team feels that the way that the quick save and quick load system should operate is that the most recent save is not a quick save. The quick save and quick load operate independently. So when you quick save, if you die and you want to load that, you can either hit your quick load button or you can go into the load thing and choose quick save. Otherwise it will show, it will load the last sequenced save, okay? Clear as mud. I'm sure that we'll get questions on that and I'm happy to provide clarity. Happy to provide more clarity. But yeah, long story short, like I don't think we can save right now because we're in an event, yeah. But if we were to quick load, we'd find ourselves back in the tunnel. Um, I don't particularly want to uh, do this again after dying to those mines, but um, I will do a quick save load sort of demonstration once we... Uh, get through this bit. I suppose we can kind of move it along. Two madcaps over here? No wonder. No wonder everything <laughs> sucked. Oh my gosh. Jeez, that explains so much. Yeah, let's just leave. Screw these guys. <laughs> All right. Now, there are certain sequences uh, where you can't quick save like ever. So, for example, if you try to quick save in Super Light, you will never be able to do that. You have to be at a location. Fill up more water. Ah. Do we have another question, or are we all cut up? Now? Uh, yeah, we're caught up now. Cool. Awesome. 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 Gosh, I love this site. I'm really happy with how we brought all of this together. Yes, sir. We just need to run a security check. No one is exempt. This was your own directive. We appear to have met an unanticipated event in our plans. You are already acquainted with this officer. He was my foreman on my last work crew. What the heck is he doing here? I believe our technology might still mislead the security check, so long as it does not scan too thoroughly. I'm not comfortable playing charades. It's not my forte. All right, let's go ahead and dock. Do the thing. Some amount of imaginative persuasion. All right, all fixed up and good to go. Let's uh, empty our hangar because we are kind of super loaded. Repairs, repairs. Yeah, frame rates tanked a little bit at that location, I think. Has it? Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're right. Um, let's try and um, bring it back a little bit. Thank you for pointing that out. Totally missed it. But yeah, we had a couple of drop frames there. Sorry about that. Just a couple. All right. <laughs> All right, back to the shop. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some stigriffs. 20% to refund ammo. Actually, yeah, let's... Oh, wait, no, that's the one that we were using, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. All right. Sell. Blueprint progress? None? All right, well, let's start... There's a desire to use this one. The 20% bonus damage against outlaws and getting weapon energy back through critical hits, like, oh, that could be so good. But right now, man, I am really enjoying this combination. Uh, that's, a, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. 
Uh, let's go ahead and uh, sell. We'll sell the solar panels. See you later. Cargo units just straight better. Yep. Blueprint progress. Auto cannon. Hmm. Man, so many good options here. It's it's uh it's tricky. Well, let's see what else we got. Small arms. I think we're just gonna sell these. Pretty decent price here. Uh, Nano fibers. We can do a lot better than that. We want to hang on to those. Clothes. Yeah, let's get rid of those. Ramen. Yeah, I just, I'm glad we got some of these to show you some of the new modifiers, but uh, we just, we're looking for something that's better. Just looking for something that's better. Also sell this liquor here. And uh, for 3K credits, I think we're gonna sell this, yeah. Yeah, I think we're getting really close to buying a new ship. So that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good indeed. Oh my gosh, I forgot, we, we we have a new perk to choose. <laughs> we hit level 15, guys. All right, let's see. Primary weapons deal 30% increased energy damage while your shield is fully charged. So basically never for the case of me streaming. Okay. Um, critical hits have a 30% chance to create an explosion impact that damages the target nearby enemies. Yeah, it's always, I feel like that's a, a staple. A lot of individuals choose this one. And I do think it's something that we're probably gonna capitalize on too. 20% increased weapon energy capacity for each installed warfare device. How many are we, we got two? I mean, that's also not a bad option. Being able to fire longer. Both of these I feel are good options. We're gonna go with crit happens for now. We're gonna go with crit happens. Yeah, a lot of people like crit happens. I look over the chat. Yep, yep, definitely. All right, cool. Now that, that deed is done, um, we're not gonna go exploring this site just yet. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna do that later. And I think, I think, I hope, our frame rate will come back to us so that we can uh, get back to the beautiful 60. I'll have to take care of that assignment before docking or it'll raise flags. Do you think you bought the ruse hive? It is difficult to ascertain, but it was a jolly convincing performance. Good call on him being new to this detail. Yeah, mm. well, I do have some recent and unpleasant dealings with this guy. I'll have to try to find out from him how he ended up in an elite squad role. Do not bother to dig too deep. Our mission is only to infiltrate the base. I'm guessing the failed Cedo system mission was the unsuccessful capture of Dax. I think when we reach about 220 credits, 220k credits, I think we'll then go explore what our ship opportunities look like. I think we're getting pretty close. So it's probably going to be at the beginning of next stream. Just looking at the time here. But this little Sentinel has, has definitely performed adamantly for all our needs and purposes. There's the important stuff. Let's go take out this guy, because I I don't I just don't want to even. You know what I'm saying? energy problems. Now I'm wondering if maybe we should have went, <laughs> we should have went with a different, uh, 
choice. Now, wait a second. Weren't they supposed to have shields? I think that's bugged. Oh, yay, death builds. Yay, death builds. Don't worry, we'll... We'll buff out all those little fishies. Probably. Yeah, see? He's got a shield. Why didn't any of the other ones? They just forgot. Some guy was just back at base. His only job, you know, it's, I'm just gonna assume his name is like Jeff, right? It's just Jeff. All he's supposed to do under management, raise the shields, lower the shields. That's his job. That's all he does. And you know what? He was probably having a bio break. That's exactly what's going on. He was watching one of his favorite streamers and the streamer was taking too long doing something. And then finally, he got the opportunity. It was just, no, too late. That's, that is exactly what happened. Unfortunate, but it happens. Happens to the best of us. What do we got? Ramen? Perfect. Man, that felt like it was way easier to clear out than previous uh, attempts. <laughs> Either I've got a good combination of things going on, or maybe I got a little lucky. It's hard to say, uh, with the, uh, the shields being down, for example. I feel like because I said that. Actually, wait. We haven't docked. We need to restore our one-hit KO ability. Wait, did we dock? Shoot. We did just dock. We, yeah, okay, no. I'm freaking out. Let's dock anyway. Just to be sure. We'll dock. We'll be fine. We'll launch. We'll quick save. We'll reload our quick save. Look at this. Look, look how snappy this is. Isn't that nice? Just a nice, super quick, like quick save, quick load, all of that fun stuff. And we're on our way. Super duper. Super duper. Let's go. Wow. See you later, Shields. I hardly knew ya. <laughs> so close. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> 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 Woo! Alright. Gosh, I hope my mom's not watching. Alright. Let's uh, try that again. This is gonna. All right. Can I see your license, please? <laughs> <laughs> license and registration. <laughs> oh! Actually, let's just do this. Because I don't want that exploder guy exploding in my face. You go over there. Thank you. Much better. Try not to get caught in the street. Memory recalibrated. What was that? We got a railgun. Uh, okay, so actually this is an important uh, point to note and something that is very likely going to change. I'm glad this showed up. So, you know, I'm showing you all these different item uh, uh, attributes that can generate. And one of the things, like, again, like, you're seeing a very raw format in these development streams. It's kind of a, quite the treat to you all. Because sometimes we withhold materials because it really needs a lot more fine-tuning before we get it out there. And sometimes we're like, we need to figure this out. We need to slap it in, see what works, uh, and then, you know, go through that sort of process um, in these very unstable builds. And what we discovered, uh, I think even today, I think it was a discussion today, um, we actually are probably going to adjust this. So instead of seeing that there can be multiples that, like, deal 20% damage to a certain thing, you're only going to have, like, one modifier that could have that attribute. So guaranteed in the future your items will generate just one deal 20 percent bonus damage to something and then the other ones would be different you can't have like three or four attributes that are all like deals 20 percent damage to this deals 20 percent damage to that deals 20 we wanted to invoke more uh, um, opportunities and in order to do that we needed to restrict this one so just a just a quick point of reference uh so this will very likely not be happening this generation of uh, item attributes in the future uh, just giving you a slice of uh, what's going on in our development minds. Cool. All right, now let's go uh, 
break some more stuff and try to get a little bit further before we go to our screenshot segment. I am happy to answer any other questions if we did get one that kind of like snuck in. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple okay. um, that just come in. Uh, earlier for Beardy Frog, just wanted a bit of clarification regarding the quick saves. Um, oh, sure. Are they going to overwrite themselves or are you going to keep making new saves? They are all independent from one another, as you can see here. And by as you can see here, there's three of them. Up to three of them that can see. <laughs> I actually thought we might have actually changed that internally. Somebody uh, bait and switched me. Um, I thought it was that you could have basically infinity a uh, number of quick saves, but no. Looks like there's a maximum of three. So <clears throat> I'm glad we just did science together. Now you know we're doing science. It's great. So yeah, that's the that's the big thing there. Oh, but, uh, we need to get in here. Thank you. Up to three. Do we have another one? Oh, I uh, yes, we do. Okay, yep. <laughs> you coming through now? Uh, I am the Law Forty Two on Twitch. Just looking for a little bit of clarification. Um, do enemies scale only with level, or also with your ship tier? Just with level. Just with level. So, like, yeah, if you buy a, a brand new, spank a new ship, it will very much be uh, not impacting the strength of enemies. Straight up your power benefits and gains on that one. I'm so scared here. This guy, gosh, yeah, no, let's just, let's just play this slow and steady. No reason to get too crazy here. So if we have another question while well, I'm kind of playing a more boring route. Wow, and look at us, <laughs> we're just dying now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes, we do. We've got a question from Flory on Twitch. They just noticed with the uh, last uh, item that we looked at, um, what is classified as a capital ship? They did notice that it was 20% yeah. against it. Yeah, so this this guy right here, this is not quite a capital ship. This is not a capital ship, but a destroyer would be, a, a drone carrier would be, um, a corvette would be. So, yeah. Those are gonna be the, the main ones that I can think of off the top of my head. And there may or may not be some, you know, really large ship that's out in the future that would also be applicable to that. Something like a dreadnought, I guess. It's one of them. Do we have another question? Uh, yes, I've got a couple more for you. Cool. Um, Excel Maths has noticed something. Um, it says it seems you can change the passive of the current or the player's current ship, not just the new ship which are in the store for selling. There were it's two expected. that were changed. There were two that were changed, yeah, and that is very much intended. Um, let me actually look up the ones that were changed. Just give me one second. I want to cover this so that way everybody who's wondering will know. But yeah, there was there was uh, one for the gunship. Um, I think the other one was for the interceptor, I think. But uh, yeah, basically, um, yeah, okay, the interceptor and the gunship. So the one that was replaced for the gunship, uh, it, it was the 50% reduced hole in armor repair costs. And we just decided that it just wasn't an enjoyable passive. Like when you got that passive on a roll, it did not feel good. Like it just was clearly like the worst one. Um, so we just said, you know what? We're just gonna replace it. So that was replaced to after 10 seconds of not being hit, gain 2% armor recovery every second up to half the total armor. So just an auto armor regeneration ability. Um, and then the interceptor, um, it was a little bit confusing. I think there, there was a number of people who would ask about it. We'd get clarity and then people would continue asking about it. For the Interceptor, it was refund 20% of the used alt energy after deactivating weapon overdrive. That's already a mouthful and a lot of you are probably scratching your heads. What did that mean? 
Don't worry about it, because it's gone now. Instead, you have, when flying toward a locked enemy target beyond 1,500 meters range, you gain 15% increased speed, like you're intercepting them in your interceptor. Those are the two changes, primary changes. Uh, and, thank uh, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for that explanation. However, yeah. um, they're kind of wanting to know, or they've noticed that they can change the passives whenever they want for any ship class. I need clarity of what you mean by that, because you should be able to change the passives for all the ships in the store. That's an ability you get with Terrain once you once he's one of your companions. Yeah, I think they're finding that um, they're able to do it with their ship itself that they currently are flying. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely a bug. That's a cool bug, though. <laughs> that's a cool bug. At one point, we did kind of like the idea of possibly changing ship passives to your ship. So, uh, I'm not even mad. But yeah, definitely not intended, but definitely cool, also. All right. Anyway, do we have another one? Uh, yes, oh, we do. Uh, no dying. Yeah, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead, let's go ahead and answer another one. Okay. Um, yes, indeed, on Twitch, uh, we'd like to know, will we see mechanic altering attributes such as additional projectiles, homing, reverse damage type numbers, etc.? I think it was a question that they asked a long, long time ago. Oh, um... um so I can't directly answer that. Um, I'll, like I would have to give like the super generic, uh, you'll have to wait and see sort of response. But you know, I always like to provide more clarity of stuff like this. Basically the short of it is um, we have to make sure that if we were to go that route, if it's gonna feel good and right uh, for the game space. And um, there has been some exploration of certain unique uh, changes using item modifiers as sort of the um, the catalyst to do so. And the short of it is that, um, yeah, well, we might and we might not. But if we do, there's gonna be a reason we do. And if we don't, there's gonna be a reason we don't. And that's about as generic I can respond to that, but also as detailed as I can respond to it as well. I know it's a question that comes from way back Unfortunately, uh, it still doesn't have uh, further clarity at this point in time. So, thank you for your patience with that one, but uh, yeah, it kind of just is what it is. Oh, we are totally going to die. There's no way that we are going to get uh, what we are looking for here in time. There's no way. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh, did we do it? Oh! Oh no, he's going he's gonna to just shoot us with the missile and we're dead. Ah! Uh, Oh, we dodged that! Oh no, we got webs! That's the worst thing! No! <laughs> oh, come on. We just, we gotta take this guy out. Those pesky followers are right on our tail. Maybe we can do this? Are we doing this? No, die! You're not supposed to get away! Oh, gosh, okay. Those madcaps are gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, I saw the madcaps like, don't you even? Oh my gosh! I need to. I need to have a very stark conversation with whoever on the team designed the madcap. I just need to. <laughs> also, why are we not getting any alt back? Gosh dang it! Dev builds, man. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, not staying there. Why would you do that? That would be ridiculous. I've never done that before. <laughs> All right. Really need more flat. Yeah. It's actually a pretty good time ultimate or ultimate EMP. Whoa! No, you come here. No, I am not staying there. Nope, 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 nope. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, you just go over there. That should be enough, right? Good. Okay, wow. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we survived that, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, one more raider. Hang on. Right. That was easy. <laughs> oh, gosh, I could have done that blindfolded. Next time I'll use two hands. Whew. All right. That was good. All right, there's this dispenser and the connectors over there. I could just grab and go. But let's grab this shipwreck. Actually, you know what? We'll quick save. Ah! That way, if anything dumb happens, you know, like uh, me ramming into a piece of debris. Uh, oh shoot, we actually need to go to our screenshot segment. We have spent too much time. But I'm gonna do the official save here, Nightmare New. Save that bad boy. But uh, I do hope that you guys have enjoyed uh, seeing a lot of the new item uh, attributes. We'll probably continue seeing a few more over the course of these next couple of streams, so that's kind of fun. Um, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we definitely didn't get into some of the new ones for the modules, which can be a bit playful as well. So definitely something that we will show a bit more of in the future. Uh, so just hang in there as we disclose that information for you. Give me one quick break to transfer over screen. So uh, one moment, please. Right, and now we're going to try and sort of rapid fire into this. We are going to answer a couple more questions, but also highlight screenshots from the community. We love giving you the praise and the glory. And this one is actually pretty cool. It almost looks like um, the gray goo here is like on water in a way, in, in a weird sort of sense. Um, I, I love the way that this was captured uh, by Dark Chaos. This is from the original Everspace. Um, and uh, yeah, just a, a nice clean shot. So let's go ahead and answer a question as I transfer over to another Dark Chaos shot here in a moment. I haven't got anything for you just to the oh, moment. Oh, that's so. great. <laughs> that's great. Well, yeah, so uh, Dark Chaos has definitely been powering through with some pretty incredible shots. Um, he is one of our galactic photographers for a reason. Like here's another one that he had uh, also from the original Everspace, uh, fairly obvious to tell with the <coughs> you know, information right there, but uh, still. Uh, love the shots that he's been capturing. You can almost feel like it's a specific location within Everspace 2 at times, um, which is great. We're glad that there's a strong parallel there. It's a, it's good. It's important. So, um, yeah. Uh, Retro Nutcase says that he posted a question and uh, we missed it. Um, Retro, go ahead and reshoot the question over. Um, sometimes we will miss questions. It happens. Sorry. It's not that we're ignoring you. It's that sometimes we're just invested in other things going on <laughs> yeah go ahead and shoot it again we'd be happy to answer it um so we got we have another screenshot uh from s sing s i n g h uh, this one's more showing off their ship but i also think the environmental shot uh, works well enough just for this little nab so thank you for this shot i love the way that you have changed the engine colors uh, to that soft green as well as having your ship, I think, be a sort of green color as well. It looks like it. Laser colors, also pretty nice. I love that. Uh, blasting away from your third hard point. The, the, the Stinger is definitely a, a pretty ship. So um, I do see the question that came in from Retro Nutcase. Yep. Um, so I'm going to cycle over to Flory's screenshot here from Everspace One. Uh, docking procedures go. Uh, let's go ahead and answer Retro's question. Uh, his question was, uh, are there any repeatable dungeon type instances they really enjoy some of the indoor combat where you're fighting in corridors and chambers as opposed to open space? Yeah, I love this question. And, you know, this isn't actually something that we've tried to put emphasis on. A lot of what we have is more so the open space combat situations. Um, and those are more repeatable through the HRAs and the rifts and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no denying that the outlaw dreadnought that we've spoken about in the past <coughs> has an in interior space to it uh, this is something that we've spoken about um, quite a bit so if you've ever missed that uh, there you go um, and the outlaw dreadnought is in fact going to appear 
in our DLC, the premium DLC in the future. So uh, maybe that could be something to be of interest to you in the future. Otherwise, just random space stations that are generated dungeons. I mean, you could kind of sort of find those at like unknown signals and stuff, but there's not anything specific um, to that which you are describing. We got this shot that comes from Winged Nightmare. A number of you guys in the Discord also seem to like it. I think it's a pretty clever shot using the planet in the background with the front shield generator. So, uh, and, I mean, the blue colors just makes you feel at peace, right? At peace with the gunship, ready to just go barrage everything uh, for the murder <laughs> death, you know? So, uh, let's go ahead and answer another question. I think I see a couple more coming in. Yeah, we just got another follow up from Retro Nutcase. Um, oh, okay. Is New Game Plus a thing, or has it been considered or not? We did consider it, and, you know, w with all sincerity, like, exploring what the New Game Plus would look like is just such a complication to what our initial vision was. You know, if we would have, you know, maybe outlined what that would look like at the very beginning of development, it could have been something worked in a little bit more easily, but where we stand, it would require a hefty amount of development time to include a new game plus. And we'd just rather do more with the content. We'd rather do more with uh, expanding uh, as opposed to replaying at just level 30. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot more we'd rather pursue than go back and also take a long time to implement. We know that a lot of people have asked for new game plus, but it's just not, unfortunately, it's, it's not what is most feasible from our side and I think that you guys if you could see the whole process like out on the table I think you guys would agree that it's a much better format for us to have the nightmare difficulty that you can replay um, and have new enriched content to make those replays through both the story and also the in-game content just so much more detailed and um, enjoyable so yeah a lot of words there uh, to basically say no new game plus uh, but we do want to add a lot more content so that there's more replayability and the desire to start a new game, as well as have more in-game depth. Next shot comes from Excel. I had to do a double take on this because I actually thought it was not from Everspace. Um, but yeah, this is from the original Everspace. This is one of our one of our um, uh, light maps uh, in the in the background. Uh, no, not light maps. That's the wrong term. What's it called? It's, it's a thing that's in the background that you can take photos of, and it's great. It's a really clever little shot from Excel, and I love the contrast of orange to blue. It's, I mean, it's just it's a staple color combination. Skybox, thank you, Steiny. Really do appreciate that. No cash. <laughs> Very good. Well, let's go ahead and jump over to Steiny's shot, since he did say something, and uh, let's answer a question. Uh, we've got one from J.R. Panciotti over on YouTube again. Um, Sometimes items drop and they end up going behind solid objects and you cannot pick them up. Is yeah. this a bug that can be fixed? I know we've seen this. Yeah, regularly. It's, this is one of those bugs that will constantly plague us for the rest of time. We had it in Everspace 1. We have it in Everspace 2. We've cleaned it up a lot. We have rectified the situation in a number of ways. And I can only speak to it and say it's been reduced significantly, but it does still happen. It's frustrating yes it's it's frustrating for you it's frustrating for us and we will probably continue to tweak it sometimes more often than we probably should be uh sometimes we'll just like really want to hammer it through and like for three days that's all we'll be working on from the development side it's just the one dang thing and then we'll fix it by two percent and call it a day um it's 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 just yeah it's one of those things where it we want it to go away. We wish it would just magically do so. But in regards to the coding thereof, the random generation of resources and um, hitboxes, um, text, uh, not textures, um, just polygons in general. Yeah, there's, there's so much that can go wrong and will, um, but we are pretty happy with how much we've alleviated uh, on that front. I also chose this photo because this looks like a fish. I just, I thought that, I just think that pairs really well. I don't know. It just, it just made me happy. Uh, did I say this shot was from Steiny? The shot comes from Steiny. I also saw this shot from uh, Infinite Banana V Theorem. 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 Uh, yeah, and I thought that that's that's a lot of money. That's you're you're getting ready to make absolute change. That's uh, very impressive. 
for those of you who chain, uh, trade commodities, you know that he just purchased a lot of this stuff and he's going back to Cedo and he is going to have some serious uh, fat credits to gain here. So good, good stuff. I am also going to now cycle over to Sonozaki. The next three shots are gonna come from him. And I do wanna also just say that based on the shots that just keep coming through from Sonozaki, I like, I didn't even ask Gary. I didn't ask anybody on the team. I was just like, you know what? Galactic photographer, done. So you are now a galactic photographer, Sonozaki, if you're watching the stream, congratulations. Your shots are just freaking too good. Um, and those, these are gonna be the next three shots that I cycle through. Let's answer another question while I do that. Uh, I've not got anything lined up for you, oh, but okay. those screenshots and uh, the title are well deserved for Sonazaki. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, it's just very beautifully composed, um, great use of color. Um, I mean, there's not too much else to say on this front other than just, dang. Like, th I, I that, that right there is like a movie poster. Just like put Everspace underneath and it, call it a day. Maybe like put some lines of text like Adam Russ, like, you know, like whatever. It's, that's perfect. That's just perfect. I love it. It's so good. There's there's nothing else that you need to speak on this front for. It speaks for itself. I also like this one that he captured just to give that really rich, authentic GMB feel. Flying around, protecting the space, or corrupting it. Uh, it's good, just really good shots. Really good shots. This, this one in particular is my favorite that he recently took. It's, it's so good. It's just so good. But, uh, yeah. Very, very good. Oh, I also see some commentary from another developer in chat. Um, I'll go ahead and read this aloud just because, why not? In-mesh items are somewhat endemic to the engine. Many potential solutions require a surprising and inefficient amount of math, and nobody wants 0.5 seconds of stuttering while the game runs collision simulations and ray checks. I am going to assume that that is 100% true. Uh, I, don't, I don't get into the nitty gritty details like that, um, but that very much reads like something that I would receive from a team member, um, and they'd probably sell you something very similar to that. So in short, what that means is instead of calculating and running all of these processes that are gonna uh, put your computer up in flames, uh, we decided to just um, bring the content out as best as possible and also rectify with a solution of allowing the tractor beam to suck in stuff through walls up to a certain point, uh, which has helped in most cases because those pieces don't get too far away. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's look at this shot now from, I am gonna butcher this username. I'm gonna spell it, G-E-C-I-N-Y-U-S-Z-Y. Gekin Yusuke, <laughs> perhaps? Gekin Yusuke? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But uh, it's a really great shot. And I love this shot too, because it goes into a territory that not a lot of people have explored. There are some locations in Everspace 2 <clears throat> that nobody else really knows about until you get a screenshot like this. And you're like, wait, where is that? Where do you, where do you get that? Where did you find that? Like, I, I love it. I love it. So um, that's why this one really stood out to me, even if I can't pronounce the, um, the user. <laughs> good, good stuff. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have a shot from Elenel, Elenel, A-L-E-N-I-L, Alanil. It's <laughs> gravy, I don't know. But uh, it's just a nice clean shot. I, I really like how well the ship stands out so you can see all the textures, the details. Um, that's a good looking ship. I don't, I think that's actually standard colors though. I don't know if you actually customize anything. So it's a good looking ship that somebody on the team uh, put together. So it's kind of like patting ourselves on the back. Good job, Rockfish. But still, um, I do like the shot and how you're just capturing the full blown destruction of your opponent and all of that very sweet loot dropping right there in front of you. That is like, that's just the happy place whenever you're going for loot and you see, like, look at all of those. Are all of those Starforged? What the heck? How did you manage that? Um, yeah, it's awesome. It's super neat. Super cool. And uh, do we have any more questions? Any more? Any more? No, nothing at the moment. Nothing? Nobody dived in. No. Nobody? None of y'all asked any more questions? That's fine. That's totally fine. But yeah, guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed the uh, exploration of new item attributes. 
There's gonna be a little bit more to talk on the mining side um, because that probably threw off a couple of people. When we get into more of the mining elements, I'm sure I'll be able to show you. Uh, maybe I should just start unlocking some catalysts and do some more HRAs. That's probably, that's probably what's next for the stream next week. Um, or actually, wait, no, it'll be in two weeks because next week I'm out. What? Oh my goodness, that's right. With all of the crazy stuff going on in my life, I actually had to take vacation in order to get things taken care of. Um, not exactly the best thing that vacation is spent for, but yeah, it's, it, it is what it is and it's important. So I'm gonna take care of my family and I'm gonna take care of myself. I'm gonna take care of things that need to be taken care of. So I will be putting the stream into the hands of Gary and he will be hey. conducting, that's right. He's gonna be conducting a, a beautiful playthrough of um, your, actually, are you doing Nightmare 2? Are you doing a, a very- No, I'm, I'm not that mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair that's fair um but wh where are you going to be continuing from like do you do you have some sense of of the direction for next week yet or uh what? we will probably continue on in the drake system okay. oh nice oh that's right because that's yeah okay okay that makes a lot of sense so all right well guys thank you so much for coming out to the stream um really do appreciate all of the questions you you guys did ask some really good questions today and it's hugely appreciative Thank you so much for being along the ride for the continued development of Everspace 2 and more free content coming your way. Again, that stuff is coming this fall. Free content this fall. Also, don't forget, of course, that the console version of Everspace 2, which is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X, will be arriving August 15th. That ain't too far away from now. Holy potatoes. My goodness. So uh, get, get primed for playing on consoles on that front. And is there anything else to, to mention? Am I forgetting anything? I think that's it. All right. We're good. We're covered. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys seriously have been awesome. I have seriously been Eric Schrader, your community ambassador. And this has been Gary, our community manager, helping out too. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, beautiful. Don't stop being awesome. And we will catch you in the next stream next week where Gary will be piloting through the Drake system. Toodles. I'm sure we could probably set you up with some new item modifiers too. We could probably oh, do that. Oh. Yeah. So. No worries. That'll, that'll be fun. Yeah. It'll, it'll be cool. Super duper. Okay, we'll have some post stream shenanigans, but I need to get some water. So I need like a minute. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Oh my gosh. I mean, overall, are you, are you guys like, I hope that you guys are excited for these item attributes that we're adding. I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, that's in the works, you know, we've talked about ship passives. We've talked about the items we've talked about, uh, or the item attributes. We've talked about the sets items. We've talked about quick saving. Now that's a, a big one. We just showed today, put more emphasis on the ship color randomizer features, which I am surprised at how much I enjoy them myself, honestly. Um, I love the customization that we already are bringing to the table, but uh, yeah, all of this stuff, all of these things, these are free 
they will be coming to you for free. None of what I've shown you is locked behind uh, the DLC. Um, that stuff will come later. That stuff's, ooh, that stuff's, yeah. Anyway, mm. excellent. <clears throat> and now it's time to have some fun. <clears throat> I need a beat. <laughs> you know, none of you have actually posted any video footage of you guys trying to do this nonsense in the in the Discord. I really want somebody to try and just post because it's weird listening to myself. <laughs> Excuse me. I forgot I had a tongue. Let's try that again. <laughs> We'll take that. We'll take that one. <laughs> don't forget you have a tongue. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh my gosh. Woo! Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>